How much of a bellwether could this be for the mood in November? Well, certainly it's going to be cast by both parties as a bellwether, both Republicans and the Democrats. The issues around uh, immigration that are playing nationally, of course, immigration, but also abortion, the economy to some extent, foreign policy, especially the issues around Israel, but not really the biggest thing that people tend to vote on in national elections. Um, and Republican candidate was really pushing on the Republican, on the immigration team there. But obviously, you know, Tom Swasey, he held that seat previously for three terms. He's got his own brand very much in the area. So there's not necessarily that direct line between what's happened in this election and what could happen in November. He's a known quantity in Long Island. He also outraised his Republican candidates three to one. He spent more than $13 million all up in the campaign. So the read through nationally is there, but it might be limited. But now we have an even slimmer majority for Republicans in the House. What does that mean going forward? Well, it does mean, of course, everything's going to be even more obstructed and difficult in the House than we've seen already. We've seen so many examples of legislation that's been tangled in the House um, in recent months, including aid for, obviously, Ukraine, Israel, and, and, and the border deal, which got torpedoed um, primarily because uh, the presumptive Republican uh, nominee for president, Donald Trump, said that he didn't think Republicans should, should support it. He obviously said, if that deal happens, in a way, it's a gift for the Democrats. So he's trying to slow all that down. So what we're just going to see, really, in the run-up to November is, is pretty much gridlock uh, in Congress. Nothing much is going to get through. If it gets through the House, it won't get through the Senate. If it gets through the Senate, it won't get through the House. And they're all just trying to, obviously, play on these themes again, immigration, the economy, and so on, in the run-up to November.